ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम टू टू डेज डिस्कशन ऑन भगवदगीता एज इट इज वी आर एट द मोमेंट ऑन चैप्टर नाइन द मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज एंड सो फॉर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड verses up to verses 15 and we'll begin from verse 16 today om karoti vachanam pankum nangai teke et kripata nam vande shri guru din taranam varmanand madhavam shri chaitanya ishwaram hari om tat sat वर्ष सिक्सटीन अहम क्रतूर हम यज्ञ स्वदाह मौषधम मंत्रोहम महमेवाज्यमहे अग्निहम हुतम ट्रांसलेशन बट इट इज आई हु एम आई द रिचुअल आई द सेक्रीफाइस दिस ऑफरिंग इन द एंसेस्टर्स द हीलिंग हर्ब द ट्रांसेंडेंटल चैंड आई एम द बटर एंड द फायर एंड द ऑफरिंग वर्ष सेवेंटीन पिताम से जगत माता धाता पिताम वेद्यम पवित्र ओंकार रिक्सा यजुर्वेद यजुरे वच आई एम द फादर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स द मदर द सपोर्ट एंड द ग्रैंड सायर आई एम द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ नॉलेज द प्यूरीफायर एंड द सिलेबल ओम आई एम ऑल्सो द रिग द साम द एंड द यजुर्वेद वर्ष एटीन गतिरभा प्रभु साक्षी निवास शरण सुरत प्रभव प्रलय स्थान निधान बीज अव्यय आई एम द गोल द सस्टेनर द मस्टर द विटनेस द अबोड द रेफ्यूज एंड द मोस्ट डियर फ्रेंड आई एम द क्रिएशन एंड द एनालेशन द बेसिस ऑफ एवरीथिंग द रेस्टिंग प्लेस एंड इटर्नल सीड वर्स नाइनटीन तपाम यहम अहम वर्षम निग्रीह निगृहणा उत्सृजा च अमृत चृत्यु सद सच्चाहम अर्जुन ओ अर्जुन आई गिव हीट एंड आई विद होल्ड एंड स्टैंड फोर्थ द रेन आई एम इमोटैलिटी एंड आई एम ऑल्सो डेथ पर्सोनिफाइड बोथ स्पिरिट एंड मैटर आर इन मी वर्स ट्वेंटी त्रै विद्या सोम पहा पूता पापा यज्ञ रिष्ट्रा स्वर्गति प्राथ्यंते ते पुण्यमासाध्य सुरेन्द्र लोकम अशनती दिव्या दिवी देव भोगा सॉरी द मीटर हेज चेंज अगेन एंड आई हैव कंटिन्यू विद द प्रीवियस मीटर ट्रांसलेशन इज एज फॉलोज दोज हू स्टडी द वेदाज एंड ड्रिंक द सोम जूस सीकिंग द हेमनली प्लैनेट्स वर्शिप मी डा इनडायरेक्टली प्यूरिफाइड ऑफ सिंफुल रिएक्शंस दे टेक बर्थ ऑन द पायस heavenly planet of indra where they enjoy godly delights verse 21 te tam bhuktva swarg lokam vishalam kshine punye marte lokam vishanti evam trai dharman manu prapanna gata gatam kama kama labhante when they have this enjoyed thus enjoyed vast heavenly sense pleasure and the results of their pious activities are exhausted they return to the mortal planet again thus those who seek sense enjoyment by adhering to the principles of the three vedas achieve only repeated birth and death verse 22 ananya chintayanto maam ye jana paryupasate tesham nitya abhiyuktanam yoga kshemam vahamyaham but those who always worship me with exclusive devotion meditating on my transcendental form to them i carry what they lack and i preserve what they have verse 23 ye api anya devata bhakta yajante shraddha yanvitah te api mam eva konte yajante avidhi pura purvakam 
translation those who are devotees of other gods and who worship them with faith actually worship only me o son of kunti but they do so in a wrong way verse 24 aham hi sarva yagyana ambhokta cha prabhure vacha na tu mama abhijananti tatve natash chevanti te translation i am the only enjoyer and master of all sacrifices therefore those who do not recognize my nature my true transcendental nature fall down so krishna was telling us yesterday up to verse 15 that worship however a person performs the worship accordingly they get the results as well but then again at other places krishna has stressed that worshiping is more important than not recognizing a higher force at all so begin with verse 16 So Krishna is uh, telling us all about the opulences and how he is pervading in everything around us in the coming shlokas. In verse sixteen, Krishna says that I am the ritual, I the sacrifice, the offering to the ancestors, the healing herb, the chanting Om, the butter and fire, and the offering. so all sorts of vedic sacrifices offerings karma kanda is all actually lord himself cuz everything is totally uh, uh encompassing lord in verse 17 bhagwan says that uh, i am the father of this universe the mother the support and the grandfather i am the object of knowledge purifier the syllable om and krishna says he is also in the rig sam yajur and and the yajur ved so the entire cosmic creation manifestation and the different activities in it are all krishna's energies so krishna is the creator krishna is the energy krishna is the one who is sustaining and krishna is one who is uh, within each one of us in the form of super soul so we are all part and parcel of krishna and krishna is also the transcendental sound om that vibration is also krishna and in all the hymns of the all the four vedas the sam yajur rig and atharva ved the pranam or the omkar prabhupad tells us again it is very prominent and what it is it is krishna in verse 18 krishna says that we have to be grateful to krishna for helping us through other people krishna says he is the goal the sustainer the master the witness the abode the refuge and the most dear friend and he is the creation and annihilation basis of everything resting place and the eternal seed so we it's best if we understand that krishna is pervading in everything around us krishna is the seed giving father of everything whether it's uh, in the plant kingdom animal kingdom humans all the species they have been uh procreated through lord's seeds seed he is the seed giving father and he is the goal he is a sustainer he is the master he is the witness he witnesses everything as super soul in our hearts and uh, he is the abode we we come from him and finally we take refuge also in him when the creation is uh, finished is annihilated and we come out again when the creation is again manifested 
In verse 19, Krishna says that O Arjun, I give the heat and I withhold and send for the, forth the rain. So heat and rain, water and heat, they are very important for sustaining all the living species and for the production of the food. Without these two, people could not thrive, could not live. And where is this? these energies coming from? They are coming from the Lord. Krishna says, I am the immortality and I am also the death personified. Both spirit and matter are in me. So, so both the material world and the spiritual world, they are in Krishna. And Krishna is eternal. Krishna is also Kal like we say which is time and uh, time we are all bound by time and krishna says that he is also the time in other words krishna is also death personified in verse 20 krishna is telling us that those who study the vedas and drink the soma juice seeking the heavenly planets worship krishna indirectly the purified of sinful reactions they take birth on the pious heavenly planets of Indra where they enjoy godly delights the ones who are uh, too busy trying to achieve the heavenly planets through the studies of the Vedas they are all actually indirectly worshipping Krishna because uh, They want to go to the heavenly planets, go to the uh, abode of Lord Indra and where does Indra get his uh, boons or the benedictions? He's every All the devtas also getting the benedictions from Krishna and uh, indirectly that means the people who are worshipping Indra are also worship, worshipping Lord Krishna. Because they want to reach the heaven and enjoy the heavenly time there in verse 21 krishna is telling us that uh, when they have enjoyed all the heavenly planets uh, the past times of there when they when their uh, past activities will get exhausted the credits will get exhausted they will return back to this mortal planet which is the earth so who are just adhering to the principles of Vedas, busy doing the Karmkan, busy doing the uh, activities, yagyas, so that they get a lot of punyas or the pious credits. They will get what they desire. They will go to heaven. When the credits will come to an end, they will come back to earth. And this cycle of going and coming, coming and going will carry on incessantly forever. In verse 22, Krishna is telling us that the ones who worship him with exclusive devotion, Krishna is using the word exclusive, with exclusive devotion, meditating on the transcendental form of Lord, to them I carry what they lack and I preserve what they have. So those who are exclusively worshipping Krishna without thinking of any other any other forms of worship of gods or the Devi Devatas. Krishna promises they will they will be carried with whatever even they are lacking and they whatever they have will be preserved. So Krishna is in other words going to protect and provide for the pure bhaktas. So who are those? They are the ones who cannot live without Krishna consciousness for even a moment. And 24-7, whatever they're doing, they've understood that, that we have to bring Krishna in the middle of our activity, whether it's eating, whether it's uh, enjoyment, whether it's uh, looking after our health, whether it's going to sleep. We do all the activities, remembering that uh, we are doing all these activities because end of the day, our goal is to serve Krishna nicely. So they are living in self-realization uh, with respect to Krishna. They have realized that 
what is their goal what is the purpose of life so krishna is going to make sure that such devotees they don't fall down and he is going to provide for them what they have what they lack and preserve what they have he's going to protect and provide them so this is kind of krishna's promise in chapter 9 verse 22 yoga kshemam vahamyaham kshemam is protection vahami is to carry aham is i i refers to krishna here verse 23 krishna is telling us that uh, those who are devotees of other gods and those who worship them with faith actually only worship god so they don't know directly what they're doing directly indirectly they are worshiping krishna only o son of kunti or pratha as a uh, oh sorry, sorry kante as krishna addresses arjun here but they're doing in a wrong way so we have to endeavor to worship krishna directly we have to understand that all the devi devtas and uh, everyone is getting their powers from krishna that is why they are able to give us the uh benedictions or the vardans so like when we are pouring water on the root as this example is given by prabhupad again and again to explain to us that by pouring water on the root the whole tree will be getting water nicely will will get the nourishment properly and similarly giving a service to the different part of the body is to supply food to the stomach similarly demigods are all different officers and directors for example in the government of the supreme lord prabhupada is telling us in the purport so one has to follow the laws made by the government and not by the officers or directors so everyone should offer their worship to the lord only and then by doing so they will automatically satisfy everyone and uh, we don't have to make an a special endeavor to satisfy each and every devi devtas and krishna does not approve of the worship of which is unnecessary of the different demigods or the devi devtas in verse 24 krishna is telling us that uh, he is the only enjoyer and the master of all sacrifices that is the yagyas therefore those who do not recognize his true transcendental nature they fall down vedas they recommend lots of yagyas and uh, but actually all of them they are they are meant to satisfy the lord because krishna is telling in verse 24 that he is the ultimate enjoyer of all the sacrifices he, because he is a supreme master and uh, if you just worship the demigods if you give the sacrifices to them offer the sacrifices to them then you will only get the temporary happiness but with, when you offer that to krishna you will get the permanent happiness and uh, krishna will make sure that you don't fall down from your or fall down again to the material position because if you're just offering those to the devi devtas you will definitely fall back down to the earthly planet and uh, and you'll have to live several lives again before you eventually by the mercy of lord understand that you have to serve the lord to get the ultimate goal of life which is to go back to the godhead and serve the god there so you endeavor for the pure devotional service and until you achieve the pure devotional service of krishna until you understand that you will not achieve the desired results so we will continue our discussion from verse 25 next time
Thank you for joining. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hare Krishna.